Let's learn how to play the King's Indian in just 60 seconds. So the King's Indian is where we're playing this up with g6, bishop g7, d6, knight to f6. Knight free cast, bishop b2. We can actually safely play the move e5. It's not a real pawn sack. After castles, we open up the center and we pile everything on that pawn on e4 with rook e8, f3, and now c6 to blow open the center with d5. This also works well against bishop e3, while after the move d5, we go a5 and play on the dark squares. If they play a different sub without knight f3, like pawn to f3, well, in that case, the c5 break tends to gain in strength, because after d5, e6, knight g3, takes, takes. You get a Benoni structure where you're usually going for the f5 or b5 pawn breaks for counterplay. And the beauty of King's Indian is you can play against pretty much anything that's not 1e4. You know, if they play a London, you can still play the same sub they just showed you. And the difference is with white having moved a c1 bishop, you can go queen b6, hit the pawn, or go e5 and hit the bishop. That's all I have time for.